Animation. Let's actually do a little bit of animation since I keep talking about that. I'm going to come down here. Any questions on transitions before we start? It sounded like we were probably pretty good. I think we're probably good. Yeah. All right. So we're going to come in here. I'm going to delete this and we'll go ahead and delete this as well. And I'm going to play with animation. Animation is really cool for creating movement across the, the slide. So of course that's something I could have used that for just now when we moved all those items down. But animation it involves putting something on the page and then controlling the path that it moves along. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to put a shape on here. I always like to start with the bouncing ball. Bouncing ball is kind of cool, right? Because that's kind of something visually that makes sense to us. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill this to start with with just a color. Anybody guess what color I'm going to put in there? You know what color I'm going to put tangerine. there. Tangerine. Ah, tangerine. <laughs> it's like you guys know me. I feel at home here. All right. Boom. So that's right. Because we decided asparagus is right out, right? <laughs> so I'm going to take this item here, and I want to build an action into that. So that's an animation. So action down here. And I have a couple options that are available to me up here. You notice I don't have these. These are the magic moves. So if I chose magic move, it would show action, and those would be there. But what I want to do is I basically want to move this item from here somewhere else. And as soon as I say move, I get this weird ghosted image. All right, so I can grab the ghosted image. That's where it's going to end up. I can move that wherever it is I want that to end up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And again, I could have done the, the photo safari that we just did a minute ago with an animation because I can say I would like it to then come here, and then I can hit Plus, and when I do that, it throws out another move. So I can do this. So we can do this bouncing ball stuff. We could do this all day, right? Just sit there and put that here. So now I can see what it's going to look like. So let's hit play and see what happens. Click, click, and click to get that animation to happen. Now I can automate that, of course. I'm going to click back on this, and I can come over here and say more options. This is where I tell it that it happens automatically. And if I have all of them selected, and I say automatically after prior build, everything just automatically comes together. And there's no delay. I could set up individual delay for each of these. And again, everything selected, I have to make sure I click off of it first and click another one for it to happen. So maybe I have this one delay a little bit before that last bounce. All right, so it delays, and then it goes. All right, so again, I would click that play, make sure it works well. There's our delay, and then it goes. So again, if I were doing something like that, having it move around, I might have little text frames that are happening at the same time. We need to select this so I can actually see that. And I'll click a little text frame here. I hate that we lose it. I would love to be able to keep that right there so I can make sure I get the text frame going in the right place. You know, we might put step one, step two, step three. So I'm going to copy that and paste that. Let's put step three up here. Let's close our drawer and get out of the way here. And we'll say step two, and we'll paste another one in there. It's not letting me paste it. Let's copy this and paste, and we'll say step three. So let's just put that in there. Make sure I don't have tons of copies of those. There we go. So now what I might do is just hit play to make sure I'm hitting about where it needs to be. That's pretty good, pretty close. We'll call that good, right?